Night out. I mean, this is a, a game show, and we've put a, hard, a lot of hard work into making new friends. And... Right. No, I can't say any more. Well, it's just, you know, just lovely. It's the end of a very chaotic day on the coach, which started with two passengers being thrown off the trip. See you later, guys. But the negative has turned to a positive, as Di and Dave head up into the hills of Granada to enjoy their special treat. Well, it's been a fabulous evening. Thanks to all the other contestants voting for us tonight. Um, we've been up to the Gypsy Bar, seen some dancing. I had a go. It was really nice to get away and just chill out, you know, on our own. Just a romantic evening yeah. with the two of us. It's a perfect it's a ending to the yeah. day. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next time on Coach Trip, the passengers head to the town with no name at a Wild West theme park, where the group learn how to throw a punch. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! Which comes in useful when it kicks off monumentally at voting time. You're a pain in the neck. Uh, and everyone thinks you? you are, by the way. This is why you've got a nickname. Acting Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Acting yeah. Andrea. Can you all do you me a favour? This you is going pathetic. Can, can, can you get me you off, you off this coach? Every day we learn from him, from her, from someone we barely know. But what does it mean to you and me? Find out the answers on Check In Current News, Global 3000, Thursday night at 8. Good evening. Here's a look at some of tonight's headlines. The sentencing of the wife of former Chief Secretary Henry Tang over the construction of an illegal basement at their home has been adjourned since until February. The delay came after the couple disputed several prosecution statements that indicated Lisa Kuo had been warned that building the basement could break the law. Embattled Development Secretary Paul Chan faced more calls for the full details of the conflict of interest dispute that has triggered calls for his resignation. Today, he refused to say how his bankrupt brother-in-law bought the land that triggered the scandal. Veteran politician Rita Fan warned that the controversy is making people lose confidence in the government. Police have arrested three taxi drivers for overcharging passengers when taking them to the airport. In some cases, this raised fares by more than 40%, with police citing one instance where the fare jumped from $196 to $326. The three suspects were apparently working as part of a group operating around hotels in Shimsa Choi. I'll be back with another update in one hour. Coming up, Documentary World, Aftermath. Giants of the opera world are here. Thousands of passionate audience members coming from all over the world. This summer night is bound to be a fabulous one. Heavenly music in the air. Vienna Philharmonic Summer Night Concert 2013. Wednesday night at nine. In the heart of Central Africa's equatorial forest, strange music emerges from the dense jungle. They are the Baka Pygmies. Their life is a never-ending song. Expressing their intense spirituality and their deep communion with the forest. If this unique culture were to disappear, how would the world be changed? Documentary World. Living Cultures. Thursday night at 9. A family raises a Varanus and cherishes it as one of their own children. 
There is much folklore about the Varanus. Some people believe that they have an animal's body, but a human spirit. Is that true? All about documentary, Messengers of Sulawesi, Thursday night at 10.05. What happens now could be prevented in the future. What was impossible yesterday might become possible tomorrow. Let's find out how science makes our world a better place. Tomorrow today, Saturday night at 7. Nothing is more interesting to Dr. Young than to talk about art and beauty. On Dr. C.K. Young's studio. He and his friends are going to show you a whole new perspective on art, culture and life. Dr. C.K. Young's studio, Sunday morning at 10.30. Keeping them honest is what we do. So many questions out there. Someone has to ask. Face-to-face -face challenge. And all the hottest topics are only on Check-In Current News, Newsline. Every Sunday night at 8. Our sun won't live forever. In billions of years, it will transform expand into an enormous red giant and swallow the earth. Humans will be long gone by then. But what if this process happened now while we were still alive? What would our planet look like if we were here to watch it? This is a world we can barely imagine. The story of what happens to our planet as the sun turns into a red giant and we struggle to live in the aftermath. The closest star is a giant ball of glowing gas, more than 1.3 million kilometers across. 